everybody welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be taking a look at upgrading your uh, operating system SSD drive I'm assuming you're on an SSD drive if not due to the prices on SSD drives coming down lower you're probably looking at upgrading to a SSD drive so like back when I built my computer uh, about the biggest SSD drive they had was a 256 gig to maybe a 500 gig but that was extremely pricey back then, like really expensive. So I had put in a 256 gig SSD in my desktop and it's been doing good, but it's getting pretty full. So now um, over Black Friday and stuff, I went found a good deal on the uh, Samsung 860 Evo one terabyte SSD drive. Now I wanna put this in my desktop computer. Problem is my operating system is on my SSD there and I want my operating system to be on here. So we're gonna be taking a look at how to clone your operating system and the files on your current hard drive or SSD drive over to your new one. Now, before we do that, you need to make sure that your new hard drive is the same size or bigger than the one you currently have. That way all the data will fit onto it. If not, you need to delete some of those files that are on there, some of the programs, or move them to a different drive, and then we'll clone it over. So it should be pretty easy to do this. Um, all we need to do, get this installed first, and then with the help of some free software, they have a paid version, but they also have a free version that should allow us to clone the hard drive and get everything working right. I will put a link down below in the description to the software. Um, but yeah, let's take a look. I We've got our new uh, one terabyte SSD here, and the first thing we need to do is make room for it in the case over here. Um, so what I did was I already went ahead and pulled out one of my hard drives and just slid it out. That's a little dusty. I need to do some dust cleaning here too, I see. But just slide that out, and on the back side, you need all you need to do is unplug the uh, the SATA cables, your power cable, one here power cable, and then your SATA cable. So pretty easy. Just unplug them, undo your new hard drive, and hook it up into the drive drive bay. Connect it and turn on your computer. Make sure it is formatted and fully viewable and. Uh, operational basically just so you can see it on your computer so just install the new hard drive and then we'll take a look at the software and what to do from there all right so I went ahead and I got my uh, one terabyte SSD drive put in an empty bay there and the power cables hooked up so make sure you leave your original operating system drive installed also that way you can clone the copy the files from that to your other one um, so now I'll go ahead and do a screen capture to show you guys the rest of this and how everything works. Okay everybody, welcome back. I uh, got the SSD drive installed and now as you can see we need to uh, initialize the disk. So, question is, do we initialize it as MBR, Master Boot Record, or GPT? Um, so to answer that question, if you're running older versions of Windows, I'm running Windows 10, uh, you're going to want to, so on older versions, you're going to probably want to do the MBR for uh, Windows 7 and older, and for newer stuff like Windows 10 and above, you're going to want to go GPT. So the difference between these two is MBR can only recognize up to 2 terabytes and have 4 partitions. Whereas GPT can recognize up to pretty much an infinite amount of uh, hard drive space and have, um, I think it's like 128 partitions, something like that. So basically this GPT is the newer style um, that everything uses to boot from. So MBR also boots from uh, like BIOS menu and this boots from uh, UEFI, I believe it is, interface, which a lot of the new um, like Windows 10 and stuff uses to boot. So basically choose GPT if you're running Windows 10. So we'll just initialize it as that, say okay. 
and that was disk five. So it is, uh, we'll go ahead and set this up. I'm going to call it boot drive two. That way I know, uh, that this is the one I gotta copy my data to when I'm done. All right, so there it is, popped up over here. It's I got two uh, PC screens, so that's why if you see me drag something in from the other side, that's where it's coming from. But it popped up right here on uh, boot drive number two. There it is, ready to go. I'll just drag that back across to my other window. And now what we need is we need the software to clone the drive. So you just go to Google, search for uh, Macrium Reflect, which I'll have the link down below in the description. So this is software right here that we're going to use. And they do make a free version. So we just uh, are going to use the home use one. And I'm not gonna put an email. And it's downloading the software. Doesn't take too long. We'll install it and then we'll get going from there. Okay, welcome back everybody. I just installed Macrium Reflect and shortcut is on my desktop over here. So now we're gonna launch that. And I'll click finish. Get rid of that window. Uh, all right, so what you're going to want to do is try and find your boot drive or your C drive out of all these drives here that are listed. And they're all probably going to have check marks by them like this. So you can just scroll down, um, look at them. They're all labeled disk 6, disk 5, disk 4, however many hard drives you have in your computer. So, And the size of them is right here and along with the name. So this is my new Samsung uh, 860 Evo, which is my new one I just put in. So that's not my boot drive. This is a seven terabyte, that's not my boot drive. Um, let's keep going here. Two terabyte, three terabyte, or three terabyte, three terabyte, that's not my boot drive. This here is my boot drive here. So I'll leave this one checked. It's broke into a couple partitions, it looks like. So then we'll just click on it like this and say clone this disk because we wanna copy that one. So once we hit clone this, it'll ask us where we want to clone it to. So I'll select a disk to clone it to. And we want to go to we want to go to this one here. And now I'm not sure why it does that. Um I could try and delete existing partition and see what happens there. There we go. So I'll just delete them. And then we will drag these down to this hard drive. And go like that. So this is a source hard drive. This is a destination. That's our uh, free space left over. Then we can just say next. You wish to, in the future? No. So, summary source disk from the 238 gig. So, these are the partitions it's copying over to the other one. run this back up now yes save backup as scheduled no I don't need to do that so I am gonna run that backup and hopefully this will clone everything boot drive 2 will be overwritten that is fine
Yep. Basically, I was just making sure you want to overwrite the data that's on uh, the disk that you're writing to. So, which for me was just fine. Now that other beep you heard is uh, showing that basically my hard drive was uh, unavailable um, because it's writing to it right now. So it's rewriting everything. So pretty much we will just wait until all this finishes, which could be a couple hours, two, three hours. Could take something like that. Um, I will check back in with you when it finishes and we'll see how it does. Alright guys, we are cloning and right now we're at 98%, 99% cloning the drive. So, so there we are. Supposedly everything is just about done. That took to do a 256 gig hard drive, took me about 15 minutes is all. So I will close that. And now what I'm going to do is I need to unplug my boot drive, shut down the, shut down the PC, unplug my boot drive, and then leave the uh, the other drive plugged in. So, and see how this thing boots up. So, all right. Stay tuned and let's see how this thing does, I guess. All right, just finished uh clone in the drive there the PC just shut down I'm gonna unplug my boot drive which is down here and leave the other one plugged in up there and turn up turn the computer back on and see what happens all right guys so we just got booted up here and everything lock let me log in turn on just fine just the way it should um, but my drive is completely unplugged. It's weird to show my C drive is 256 gig, but it's completely unplugged. So, let me see something. If I go to this PC, manage, manage storage, disk management. This one is unallocated. See, so it's showing unallocated for, uh, for this one. And I can't give it C either. So we'll just name it, uh, um, what should we name this boot drive? Our SSD storage. There, we'll call it SSD storage drive. So yeah, everything everything did work fine. Um, just when I cloned it, so it renamed my, it renamed this drive to my C drive, so my boot drive instead of the I that we had originally uh, named it as. And then the extra space was just unallocated. So I wonder if there's a way to join all these so it's because we don't want to shrink the volume. But I just wonder if there's a way that we could like um, basically make these all one volume, if you know what I mean. 
that I'm not sure on. But at least the uh, cloning part of it works. So that's pretty darn cool. So now we got Windows right on here. And the rest of the hard drive right here for uh, storage, for SSD storage. So everything works good, guys. Um, check this out. I'll fire up a program um, that is on that SSD drive. And that all does load up just fine. It's working on. Program's working just fine. Everything. <laughs> Everything looks good, guys, so can't complain. All right, hey guys, everything worked good. Um, we were able to switch out the smaller SSD for the one terabyte one and clone that drive over to the bigger drive without an issue. Uh, the only little hiccup was that when you clone it over and you, you view the size of your hard drive, um, it's showing whatever that original hard drive size was so you have to go into device manager and uh, Format that other smaller partition which I'll show in the video here But other than that everything works good. So now I just got to take this hard drive off the tray here Put the other one in this tray and then remount it back in there. So this is gonna be pretty much gone or non-existent anymore, so upgrading to bigger better drives so all right guys hope you liked the uh, video remember favorite like share and subscribe and thanks for building up my channel i appreciate it hopefully i can bring you guys more videos like this in the future and yeah we'll see you in the next one hope this helped you out let me know in the comments too uh, i'll put a link to the software put a link to the uh, samsung drives and i am an amazon affiliate so if you buy through the links it helps me out it does support the channel so i appreciate it guys Thank you very much, and we'll see you later.